today we're going to learn about multiplication. We're going to continue working with multiplication. And this lesson will be about associative property of multiplication. Associative property of multiplication states that the way in which factors are grouped does not affect, does not change the product. Here we have an example. We can multiply 5 times 2, or we can multiply 3 times 5. Let's see this very quick. 5 times 2 equals 10. Then we multiply 10 times 3, and that is 30. Now let's see when we do this grouping. Let's see. 3 times 5 equals 15. 15 times 2. You may say, I don't know how to multiply 15 times 2. Remember that multiplication is like repeated addition. In this case, we can add 15 plus 15, and we know that it is 30. We got the same answers in the two multiplication problems. Let's do problem solving. First step, we need to read the problem as many times as we need. Once we read the problem, we're going to focus on the question. In this case, the question is, how many shirts does the store have in all? Ready to begin? Let's go. The problem says that the store has six different colors of shirts, and then they display the shirts on three shelves, and they put two shirts of each color in each of the shelves. What do we need to do in this problem? We know that we need to find the total amount, but do we need to add or multiply? Okay, let's visualize the problem so that we can understand it better. Let's imagine that this is the first shelf, the second shelf, and the third shelf. So if you were thinking that we need to multiply six times three times two, you are correct because we need to multiply. Of course, we're going to use associative property of multiplication. According with associative property of multiplication, I can group the factors as I need and it doesn't affect the product. So let's do the first step. At this time, I'm going to use this grouping. So let's begin multiplying. 6 times 3 equals 18. Then 18 times 2. In this case, remember that we can use repeated addition. 18 times 2 is the same as when we add 18 plus 18. 8 plus 8 equals 16. We put the 6 in the 1's place. And then we put the 1 in the tens place, then we add the tens place, which is three. So my answer is 36. Very quick, we're going to use the other grouping so that you can see that the product doesn't change. Okay, let's work on activity number one. Let's remember that first of all, we need to use the parentheses to show what are the factors that we're going to multiply first. This is the grouping that I'm going to use. I'm going to multiply four times five first, and then the product times three. Let's begin. 4 times 5 equals 20, 20 times 3, remember we can use repeated addition, we can add 20 plus 20 plus 20, that makes us 60, so my answer is 60. The first possible answer is the correct one, letter E. Now let's do activity number 2. Activity number 2 says, 
Find the correct way to solve. Mark all that apply. And this is a multiplication equation that we have. 6 times 7 times 2. Since it says mark all that apply, we have to make sure that we find all the possible answers corresponding for this multiplication equation. This is a tricky activity, so we have to go deeper and think smarter. There we go. First step, use parentheses to show the grouping that you're going to use. We're now ready to multiply. 6 times 7 equals 42, then 42 times 2. So now let's look at the possible answers. We have 42 times 2. We have found the first answer. We have to continue working. Now is the time that we multiply 42 times 2, and we're going to find a final answer. To multiply 42 times 2, we can use repeated addition, which is 42 plus 42, and that's equal to 84. And here we have another answer, 84. Answer A and answer B. Very good. But now we have another way to work with because we can use another grouping. Here we have the other possible grouping that we can use. Instead of multiplying six times seven, we can multiply seven times two. So let's begin working on it. Seven times two equals 14. Then six times 14. And let's look at the possible answers. We have six times 14. So that means that here we have another answer for this multiplication problem. Very good. We have found three answers so far. Very good. We have three answers so far, but we cannot stop working at this time. We have to do the last step because we never know if we are going to have all the choices. So let's continue working. To multiply six times 14, we can use repeated addition, or we can use another multiplication property that we already studied. The distributive property of multiplication, which allow us to break apart one of the factors. And in this case, we can break apart the 14 into seven plus seven. That will make six times seven and six times seven, which is 42. Then we add 42 plus 42, or we multiply 42 times two, but as we don't know how to multiply 42 times two, we just add, we double 42, and it is 84. That's an option. The other option is the one that you're seeing. Repeated addition, 14 plus 14 plus 14 plus 14 plus 14 plus 14. And that will be also 84. So we already have that answer. We have done with this activity number two. We have three possible answers. 84, 42 times two, and six times 14. Yay, we have reached the end of this lesson, guys. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. From the bottom of my heart, I really want this can help you in solving your mathematic problems and you rock math. Here you have my email. If you have any questions, you can contact me, mathmisramirez at gmail.com. I will be more than happy to answer all your questions. Very important, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Bye. See you soon. Have fun with math.